Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. My favorite season is finally here and outside the magnolia tree has a lot of flowers. So I decided to create a delicious dish with them. We're going to make a crepe salad seasoned with a crepe cream, a pomme souffle filled with a sorrel foam and a sweet and sour magnolia gel. So if you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel and hit that notification button to be sure that you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So. Let's begin. We're going to start with the magnolia gel. First, remove enough magnolia petals for 50 grams in total. Wash them in some cold water. After that, transfer them into a preserving jar. Then pour 200 grams of white wine vinegar into a saucepan together with 100 grams of white wine, 100 grams of sugar and 3 grams of salt. Now chop half a stick of lemongrass and add it to the saucepan together with two lime leaves. Bring this to a boil. Once it has boiled, pour it onto the magnolia petals. Then close it up and let it marinate for 24 hours in your fridge. After that, pass 200 grams of the liquid into the saucepan together with 1 gram of gelon powder and 2 grams of agar powder. Then mix it and bring it to a boil. Now pour it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it into a smooth gel. Once it's smooth, transfer it into a piping bottle and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the crab salad. Turn the crab around and insert the chef's knives into the head to kill it quickly. Then twist off the claws and the legs. Keep those separate from each other. Keep the head and all the trimmings for later. Now bring a pan of water to a boil and season it with a generous amount of salt. Then boil the legs for 2 minutes. Once cooked, cool them down in ice water. Boil the claws for 4 minutes for the small ones, 5 minutes for the medium ones and 6 minutes for the big ones. I boiled these for 5 minutes. Once the claws have cooled down completely, separate the claws from the carpus. Then twist off the finger. Now use the back of your knife to break the claws. Take out the meat and be sure to remove both swords, the big one and the small one. Then use the back of a spoon to remove the meat from the carpus. After that take the legs and separate the top from the bottom. Keep all the trimmings for later. Now cut off the closed end. Then take the legs and use a tweezer to press out the meat. Now gently press the crab meat with your fingers to check for small parts of shell and keep the crab meat in your fridge for later. Now for the crab reduction and cream. Take the head and open it up. Then remove the dead man's fingers and throw those away. Now chop it in big pieces. Then cut 4 onions in half and remove the skin. Now chop them. Also cut one bulb of garlic in half. Then heat up a big pot, add a splash of oil and fry the crab trimmings on a high heat till it starts to color. This takes around 5 minutes or so. After that add the onions and the garlic and heat it for 5 more minutes. Then add 300 grams of white wine and reduce this for 90%. Now submerge it completely with water. Also add 2 springs of tarragon and let it simmer for 45 minutes. Then pass it through a fine sieve and reduce it on a low heat until it's a deep and rich reduction. Now let it cool down completely. Then pour 40 grams of the crab reduction into a blender and also add 2 grams of salt, 30 grams of egg yolk, 10 grams of lime juice and 130 grams of neutral oil. Spin it to emulsify it into a nice cream. Now pour it into a piping bottle and keep it in your fridge for later. 
Then take one apple and peel it. And cut it into small cubes. Those are called brunoises. Then add the zest from half a lime. Cut the zest apart off and add the juice to the apple. Mix this. Transfer two parts of the crab meat into a bowl and add one part of apple brunoise. Now also add the crab cream and just a pinch of salt. The crab cream is already very powerful, so be careful with the seasoning. Then keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the sorrel foam. First cut 350 grams of onions in half and remove the skin. Then chop it. Now heat up a pan, add a splash of oil and glaze the onions on the lowest heat. Meanwhile, transfer 70 grams of sorrel into a blender together with 200 grams of fish broth and 10 grams of lime juice. Now blend this till smooth. Once it's smooth, pass it through a fine sieve. Then transfer the pulp onto a silicon sheet and spread it. Then dry it at 50 degrees Celsius. This takes around 5 hours. Now transfer 200 grams of the glazed onions into a measuring jar together with 200 grams of the sorrel liquid, 35 grams of cold espuma powder and 4 grams of salt. Blend this till it's completely smooth. Once it's smooth, pass it through a fine sieve using a ladle. Then pour it into a siphon and charge it with two charges. Shake it well after each charge and then let it set in your fridge for 30 minutes. Now for the pomme souffle. Take the dried sorrel and transfer it into a blender. Now blend it into a fine powder. Then take one big waxy potato and peel it. Cut it into thin slices on a mandolin and lay those slices beside each other into four rows on your worktop. Dust two rows with the potato starch and remove any excess powder with a brush. Add a super thin layer of egg white on the remaining slices. Now put the potato slices on top of each other with the egg white side facing the potato starch side. Then cut it with a cutter. I put a link in the description where I bought mine. Now remove the trimmings and deep fry them at 170 degrees Celsius till golden. Once you've put it in the oil, directly start basting it with the hot oil. Let them cool down on some kitchen paper and then cover them with the sorrel powder. Now we can start to finish the dish. First, cut two tablespoons of the crab salad into a cutter. Remove the cutter and then pipe a couple of dots of the crab cream and the magnolia gel on the salad. Then decorate it with pea cress, parsley cress, magnolia petals and apple blossom. Now take the pomme souffle and make a small hole in the middle. Fill it completely with the sorrel foam. Now place it on the salad and then it's ready to be served. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, originally I created this idea for St. Patty's Day, but back then the kitchen was still in construction and I wasn't able to create the video. So I adjusted the idea a little bit and instead of making an Irish traditional stew, I did it with the crab salad and the magnolia flowers. And I must say it looks incredible and I can't wait to dig in. So let's do it. Mm. That's really good. Mm. I'm always a big fan of a good crab salad, um, especially in combination with some freshness like the lime and the, the sorrel foam. Um, that's really good. The, the pomme souffle has turned a little bit soggy, but like I always say, I'm after creating the dish and plating it, I take photos for like 10-15 minutes, so that makes sense. Um, just be sure that you feel it and then serve it straight away because otherwise, like I said, it will turn soggy a little bit, but I still tasted uh, a touch of the crunch. 
and that's really something the dish needs, the crunch from the pomme souffle. So be sure to fill it and then serve it straight away. Um, but other than that, it's delicious. Uh, the texture, the flavor, it's really good. The aromatic, the aromatic flavor of the magnolia is also a great combination with the crab salad and the sorrel. So overall, really pleased. Okay guys, that's it for today. Um, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video. And subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appetit.